Hi, I'm Joe with Family Handyman. Everyone loves sitting around a campfire. Today I'm going to show you how to build three different campfires, but most important, how to put it out. Some important things to remember, always build a campfire in a designated fire pit or fireplace, away from flammable trees or grass. Always have a source of water, a bucket, and a shovel available when starting a campfire. Never cut down living or dead trees. Standing dead trees often have wildlife living in them. Never leave a fire unattended. There are three types of fuel, tender, kindling, and firewood. Now tender is anything that ignites easily. Birch bark, pine cones, pine needles, things like that. You can also purchase fire starters or make your own fire starter with dryer lint and a toilet paper roll. Kindling can be sticks one inch in diameter or smaller. You can split small strips of kindling from dry logs with a hatchet. Firewood can be dry logs three to four inches in diameter, about 16 inches long. These can be gathered or purchased. First campfire I'm gonna to build today is called a tripod. Start with a liberal amount of tinder in the center of your fire pit. Create a cone shape with kindling over the tinder, allowing space for air and oxygen to flow. Next campfire I'm gonna build is called a log cabin. Similar to building the walls for a log cabin, you wanna lay two pieces of wood parallel to each other on the bottom of the fire pit. Next, place two smaller pieces of firewood on top of the first two pieces at a right angle, creating a square. Continue layering firewood. The space between each log will allow air and oxygen to flow. Fill the inside of the square with a liberal amount of tender or a few fire starters and kindling. Top off the cabin with a layer of kindling and tender. The last campfire I'm gonna show you to build is called a pyramid, similar to a log cabin, only this one is for a long burning fire. Start by laying three or four pieces of firewood next to each other on the bottom of the fire pit. Lay another three pieces of firewood in the opposite direction on top of the first three. Continue layering with smaller sized wood as the pyramid gets taller. End with kindling. More important than starting the campfire is extinguishing the campfire. Always scope out a nearby water source and have a container on hand transport the water. The ideal way is to separate the logs from each other and let the fire burn out on its own in the fire pit. Extinguish the fire slowly, pouring water directly on the burning wood. Do not stand over the top of the fire while you extinguish it, for the steam may rise and burn you as you douse the fire. That's it. There's three campfires you can easily build. Get outside, go camping. For more tips like this, visit us at FamilyHandyman.com. Mm -hmm.